Trypanosomiasis is a devastating livestock disease that kills millions of cattle in Africa. It costs farmers billions of dollars in lost earnings annually. For over 50 years, research and development workers have failed to reduce its effects. This year, at the International Livestock Research Institute, a group of geneticists and their international partners have identified two genes that convey resistance in livestock for trypanosomiasis. Although the wider topic of trypanosomiasis resistance is something that Ildri has been working on in one way or another for decades, the research project within which these breakthroughs were made began about seven years ago. Throughout its life, this project has taken advantage of the latest developments and has brought in collaborations involving the very best science in the world. The initial breeding work that began back in the 80s used state-of-the-art embryo technology. The project also made important contributions to the mapping of the cattle genome. This gene mapping began at the same time as human gene mapping. Team members were able to make use of the technologies as they developed because they had the systems and the experimental populations of livestock already in place. The ability is the animals, the expertise in the disease, uh, has the challenge facilities. Uh, the likes of ourselves at Rosson have expertise in uh, quantitative and molecular genetics, uh, genomics platforms. Together with partners, they refined the mapping with expression analysis, state-of-the-art sequencing technologies and informatics. As the project has continued, we've been right in the middle of the genomics revolution. We now have about 10 billion bases of cattle data to work with. We had to expand the sorts of collaborations we were involved with, which meant bringing in a really strong computer science group. The techniques developed by the Manchester University team were designed to process the huge project data sets. These sets were generated first by the sampling, breeding, animal testing and preliminary molecular work that was done at Ildri in Nairobi. Further sequencing and analysis were carried out at Liverpool University. We're working in Africa because this is where the interesting biology is, the problems and the possible solutions. Trypanosomiasis is most in African disease. But Africa is also home to a breed of humpless cattle called the Indama. Though smaller and less productive than other breeds, they have versions of two genes that we have just identified as conveying resistance to the disease. Eventually, results should make it easier for farmers to breed animals that can be kept healthily in endemic trypanosomiasis areas. When we breed bulls which carry the resistance genes, those can be used to inseminate lots of cows and produce lots of offspring. So it should be possible to diffuse this technology across Africa where, where it's most needed. The team is now introducing additional information from mice. Though the mechanisms in mice are different, this will provide an important alternative view on how to control the disease. When we find out what the gene in mice is, it will allow us an opportunity to understand how the disease process in mice works and we can look at the role of this gene in the disease processes in cattle. And also we can move from there to look at similar disease processes in human disease situations. Genomics helps us understand and find answers to very complex biological questions such as disease and other environmental stresses. The international team that came together in this project is an example of the agility needed to do frontline biology. Together they have developed new research approaches and technologies 
to unravel some of the most fundamental biological issues with likely benefits for people as well as animals.